Hello and welcome back to my channel Cab with Jordan. Today we're going to be taking our parts and assemblies and making them look realistic. We'll be taking it from this to this in a matter of minutes. So to begin doing this with a assembly, you need to open up your individual parts and assign a material to them, or not even a material. Your material is this left box here, and that will change the properties of the part, but we want to apply a appearance. So there's a long list that you can choose from. There's also other libraries, and I'm pretty sure you can download some too, but I've never needed it. I can just look through this list and find what I need. I've applied a titanium finish to this here crankshaft, and uh, I'm gonna, make sure that I do that for all of my parts that are in my assembly here as you can see I've already done that and now just to speed things along rather than going through each part and showing you what it is I'm just going to show you how to make it look realistic right now so the way that I always do it is I come to the view tab at the top here and I'm going to go to the realistic visual style now you'll see that this removes a lot of the black lines around it and also applies a shading. After that, I'm going to be clicking on reflections and shadows, and then instead of a orthographic view, which provides a dead straight view, as you can see, once I change it to perspective, you see the big difference there, and we actually have a perspective view, which helps to build that realistic look. So now that I've got my reflections, shadows, my visual style set to realistic, and the perspective view on, I'm going to orientate the model in such a way that I would like my render. After that, we're gonna to come to ray tracing at the top here, and this is the final nail in the coffin. And after clicking that, we're gonna be met with a little box in the bottom, and then you'll see that the render is starting to take place. Something worth noting is that every single time you move it about, it needs to re-render. And if you haven't got a decent computer, this can take a long time. So make sure that you're using the low mode, and this gives you a quick render. If you're looking to get a better one, we can go for draft, and this takes a little bit more time, but in the end, results in a much cleaner looking finish. And then once you've decided which you wanna go on based on your draft, we can open this up and go to high. And this takes a lot longer, but ultimately ends up with a much better finish. So yeah, I'll just skip to the end of this rendering process right now. The model that I'm using here to display just how the rendering works is a four stroke engine that I've been putting together and is actually going to be a practice part for my course as soon as I get the drawings done for it. So if you'd like to get your hands on this model, please take a look at the link in the description and uh, head over to Udemy where I'm currently selling my course. There's always sales going on. So go over there and check it out and you can also build one of these for yourself. So as you can see in the bottom right here, the render is still nowhere near done and it's been 90 seconds. As you can see, this is basically everything that you're going to need so far though, but I do recommend that you let the render completely finish before you take your screenshot as this will just polish everything up for you. Anyway, that just about covers everything in this video. I'll just quickly jump to the end. So this is basically how the render is going to turn out at the end. As you can see in the bottom right here, the render isn't completely finished just yet, but we've also got a very finished looking product. I do recommend that you allow the render to finish, that way it's totally polished up for you. But just to show how it works, this will do for me for now, and I will just drop it onto the low mode and get a quick one for you, and that looks decent to me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please check out the course in the description, and uh, bye.